You're watching my barrio my mundo and welcome to Sevilla. Today we are touring the palace and gardens of the Alcazar. Enjoy this World Heritage Site. For optimum experience, it is suggested to connect to an ultra high definition screen. Explanations will be provided. And welcome to the contractor's room. It was founded in 1503 as the meeting place for trade discussions between Spain and its colonies in America. To visit, one would first have to go to this room. Join me, let's climb up the balcony to afford a view of the patio. The Alcazar has long fascinated historians, art enthusiasts, and travelers around the world. According to history, this grand structure took over 500 years to complete, as it was passed on reign by reign, dynasty by dynasty. As a result, what we see today at the exteriors and interiors of the palace is a melting pot of various religious and cultural influences. Palacio del Rey Don Pedro, or the Palace of Peter I, was constructed in the 14th century, at the start of the reign of King Peter. Due to the king's relationship with Mohammed V, who was behind the grandiose decorations of Granada's Alhambra, the palace invokes the latter at first glance. The palace wraps around what is also known as the Court of Maidens, or Pacho de las Doncillas, a waiting room for maidens or virgins before their duties began. A legend or a myth surrounding the courtier claims that the Moors would demand 100 virgins from their colonies as a tribute. A reflecting pool stands in the center with a sunken garden that was discovered in 2004. We are at the Salon de Embajadores. The opulence of the hall appears like a juggernaut of power. As the former room of Peter of Castile, Salon de Embajadores, or the throne room, has a gorgeous gold foil dome that soars high above. It is said the hall represents both heaven and earth, depicting the superior role assigned to the king. This is also where the wedding of Charles I and Isabel of Portugal took place in 1526. The balconies that were designed for this were later used to spy on dignitaries who would visit the king. The term Alcazar is an Arabic word, translated to mean castle or palace. It's constructed under Moorish rule. The original Alcazar was built some time during the early 900s. It's now designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Alcazar went through modification and renovation about 500 times. It combines various architectural forms, Mudejar, Gothic, and Renaissance, among others. A 
As time passed through the reigns of the Almoravids and the Almohades, over 12 palaces were built and demolished. Few remains have been preserved to date. The major shift in dynamic began when the Christians took over Seville. The Alcazar was converted into a place of residence. The most prominent change was during King Pedro's reign when the palace was constructed under heavy Mudíjar influence. In the 13th century, during the Spanish Reconquista, the Alcazar went through major architectural changes, adapting a more Gothic and Romanesque element. The 16th century brought more Renaissance influence, resulting in what we see today, a stunning amalgamation of various cultural influences. Before we explore the rest of the garden, let's explore the area under the palace. Banos Doña Maria de Padilla, also known as the Baths of Maria de Padilla, this is another interesting area of the Alcazar, named after the mistress of Peter of Castile, Maria de Padilla. This bath earlier served as a vast pool and now have been converted into rainwater tanks. This is also where some scenes from the Game of Thrones were shot. Welcome to the Alcazar Gardens familiarly known as the Water Gardens of Dorn from the Game of Thrones, Alcazar Gardens are resplendent, flourishing, and a sight for sore eyes. Teeming with rich flora and fauna, the tribe in the Spanish War, they feature exquisite plants, trees, ponds, and fountains, ideal for a romantic day. Grown to perfection, you can easily get lost amidst its maze-like hedges. The gardens serve as an extension of the kitchen, and now it is mostly an attraction with various areas such as Troy Garden, Maze Garden, and the Garden of the Poets. <coughs> I'd like to leave you now at this point for you to enjoy and immerse yourselves in the beauty, in the sights and sounds of the garden. Gardens of the Alcazar. Of Syria.
Thank you for joining me here today, here in Seville, as we explore the beauty of places, events, and cultures. Here, on my barrio, my mundo. I'd like to see you again on the next video. Thank you for your time.